fifty. On delivery, fifty thousand more for each viable embryo. That's one point five million if you get all fifteen species off the island. Oh, I'll get them all. Hey guys, JP Toys 97 thank you for tuning in. Happy Halloween. I've spent the past three months trying to accumulate all of these coins here in front of me, yes. We have a little bit different of a review here today. We're going to be taking a look at these old aluminum dinosaur coin tokens that came packaged with boxes of Post Fruity and Cocoa Pebble cereal during 1974 through 1988. They had four different sets. Each set had six coins with different dinosaurs and information. All four sets here of six coins are easily distinguished by the back side of the coin. We'll get into that in the review here. So let us not waste any more time. Let's get this review underway. We're going to start with the set that began it all, the set from 1974. So here we have the set of six coins that was available during 1974. If you bought a box of fruit of your Cocoa Pebbles cereal, you would get a coin token prize in your box. There were six dinosaur tokens. Very fitting that these tokens came with Fruity Pebble cereal with uh, the Flintstones, dinosaur themed. You, you would get one dinosaur token here for, with every box. Uh, these coins are well before my time, but I saw someone post about these in a Facebook group that I was on, and I instantly fell in love and was like, I must track down every single one of these and have them in my collection. Sadly, I didn't get all of them. I'm missing still a good six from some of the other sets, but this set right here is complete, all six coins from 1974. So let's take a look. We have a Coelophysis coin with some nice little detail going on here. I really like... What I like the most about some of the detail on these coins is the stuff going on in the background and the ground here. It looks like they're on a river or creek bed side here. Two of them. On the side of the coin here it says 180 million BC. And on the back of all of these coins from 1974, an easy way to tell that you have coins from the 1974 set is uh, it has this dinosaur family tree here on the back and it says when the world was young. And if you look down here, it says dinosaur family tree. Not all, but some other dinosaurs that you can get from the set, like Stegosaurus, Allosaurus. Uh, the back of the coin here is the same on all of these, so I'm not going to spend forever. There's nothing super different about any of these back side of the coins here from the 1974 set, or that I could find anyway. But yeah, that's the Coelophysis coin. Here we have the Pelicosaurus coin. It actually has two creatures here on the coin, if you can see. You know, the Dimetrodon here on the top, and uh, Edaphosaurus. I hope I said that right. I always butcher that name. For the... And it's very faint. You might not even be able to see it, but it says 280 million BC on the side of the coin right there. I think it's kind of funny how uh, the Dimetrodon's biting the tail of this other guy, and he looks like he's shrieking, like... <laughs> this is a neat coin, even though um, Dimetrodon isn't an actual dinosaur. Still a nice coin for the set though. Stegosaurus, 180 million BC. I like if you look really closely on his body you can see all the little lumps and bumps there sculpted in for the coin. Like It's just a little aluminum coin prize but that little bit of detail is really nice to me. This is a neat coin. Dinosaur family tree on the back. Brontosaurus, 180 million of BC. If you look on his foot, it looks like it's standing in water. Uh, you can see a pteranodon there in the background faintly. 
pretty nice looking brontosaurus coin. Not a whole lot to say though. We do got quite a few other coins to get through, so I'm not gonna spend forever here, but I really like these a lot. And this is a cool one here as well, Allosaurus. Got some palm trees there in the background. 180 million BC at the bottom. This is a up close shot a little bit more. Really like the head sculpt for the coin here anyway. And just look at some of, like I said, the detail, like the the folds in the musculature and the tail. I mean, considering it's just a little aluminum coin. And the final coin, would you guess it? Of course, Tyrannosaurus Rex, 135 million BC. Looks like he's a very pudgy looking T-Rex, but zoom in here on the mouth, see if this... yeah. The teeth there on the mouth, that's really cool. I love this coin. Uh, gorgeous. Uh, I do apologize if there's a little bit of a glare with my light. Uh, I also have these coins. I put these coins in these little plastic capsules to help keep them protected and preserved for the future. But yeah, that's the T-Rex. And that's the first set of six coins that you could obtain from 1974. Would have been nice if they had a, a date on the coin. So anyone who isn't knowledgeable or doesn't know could easily tell that they're from 1974, but there's no real other markings or dates on this set in particular anyway. Next up we have the set from 1979. Again, another six coins, but in my attempt to find them all, I was only able to track down five of them. Um, it's been kind of slim pickings on eBay, so you must excuse me. I did my best. I'm going to still keep an eye out, so if I maybe do get the coins that I'm missing, I'll do a follow-up video in the future. Not that I imagine many people will care to see that. Oh, got some new dinosaurs. Pladiosaurus. This set, the coins have some different images on them in the way they're set up. Uh, the dinosaurs' names on all these coins are all along the bottom here. And then it even has the translation for the dinosaur here, Pladiosaurus, flat lizard. Pretty cool. And then, uh, what distinguishes this set from the previous, other than the coin being set up different here on the front, is on the back side now, instead of the dinosaur family tree, we get just information and facts about the dinosaur. So I didn't know what to call this set from 1979, so I just call them the dinosaur facts set. Uh, and you, you can call them whatever you want. In the back of this one, it has Triassic period, and here's the little read up. Pladiosaurus, or flat lizard, was 21 feet long, and the largest of the early dinosaurs, Pladiosaurus was mainly a plant eater. Its front legs were long and sturdy. Scientists believe it was able to walk on all four legs. So yeah, I like this set just because you get the little dinosaur facts on the back of the coin. Really nice. Another coin here. We have Iguanodon. 135 to 190 million BC along the top. Iguanodon, lizard tooth, name translation. This is a really cool Iguanodon coin. That That's old school dinosaur design and I've, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but I love that old dinosaur design. Really retro. Uh, makes me think of being a kid again, even though these coins aren't from my time. Iguanodon or lizard tooth was 30 feet long and had a very thick heavy tail and a spike on its thumb. It could walk on two legs or four and had webbed feet. Like ducks of today, the webbed feet made it easy for him to walk over soft wet ground. Really enjoy this coin a lot. Uh, really awesome. Just look at that. Beautiful. Next up, Ankylosaurus. This is a really badass looking coin. 65 to 135 million BC in the top. You even have a pteranodon there, just like on that previous coin from the original set that we just looked at. Ankylosaurus, curved lizard. Really like the image here on this. This might be one of my favorites out of all these coins. Uh, really awesome. Cretaceous period, Ankylosaurus or curved lizard was 15 feet long and it had a wide flat body and its back was covered with thick plates. 
of bone. The knob at the end of its tail was used like a club. I think the 1979 set here might be my favorite out of all their sets. Teratosaurus, 190 to 225 million BC. Teratosaurus, a monster lizard. You got a nice looking image of this dinosaur from the early Triassic period. Just look at the shine. I like, I know there's a little bit more glare here than there should be, but I, I love the shine. Ooh. Teratosaurus or monster lizard was 12 feet long and one of the early meat eating dinosaurs. It had strong jaws and the sharp teeth of a hunter. Its hind legs were long and powerful, so it could stand on two legs. And the final coin here that I have, 135 to 190 million BC, Brachiosaurus. This coin was a little bit damaged and scratched. Pretty awesome looking Brachiosaurus coin here. Vintage. Yeah, you can see all the little um, scrapes and stuff. This coin wasn't in the best condition. Jurassic period, Brachiosaurus, or great arms, weighed about 50 tons and was the heaviest of all dinosaurs. This dinosaur was more than 80 feet long and stood 40 feet tall and had a brain only the size of an apple. And that's the five coins that I have from this set. The only other coin from this set that I don't have is actually a Triceratops coin that goes with this set. And I really want to get that coin because I think it's got an awesome image. And I'm going to list this one as the mystery set because I can't find any information of a year of release or anything about this. But it looks exactly like all the other coins we've been reviewing and the final set of coins. So that makes me believe it was from post cereal as a prize you would get just can't figure out the exact year this was the only one from this set that i was able to hunt down the parasaurolophus here on the back it says age of the dinosaur mesozoic era and these are all the dinosaurs from this set the mystery set that you could get platyosaurus again parasaurolophus another brachiosaurus saltibus pteranodon and oranosaurus the Platyosaurus and Brachiosaurus have different images on the front of the coin. Uh, they, they'll be different from the 79 set. And also, the back of the coin will look like this and not like this with the, the fact information. You'll have the coin looking like that. So yeah, this, I'm not sure if this set is the rarest or what, but I have, I've been having difficulties finding the other coins in this set. I've seen them on eBay, but I didn't win the auctions, and some of the coins went for stupid crazy prices. So my search and my hunt continues, but I am happy and thankful I was at least able to get one here, the Parasaurolophus, 80 million BC. Really enjoy this one. This image just makes me think of the Lost World for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> it, it gives me Lost World vibes. Uh, I'm weird. And here we are, the final set of coins. Age of the Dinosaur was the final set and is the only set to actually have a date stamped on the back of the coin here, 1988. This set in particular here is very similar to the mystery set. If you look here on the, the backs of the coins, they both say Age of the Dinosaur, Mesozoic Era. The only difference is the lineups of dinosaurs on the back side of the coin here is different for the different dinosaurs that you could get. The set here, the final set, is very similar to the original set from 1974. We're going to kind of go over that here. Some of the coins have the same or similar looking image here. Coelophysis being one of them. Same image. A little bit different though, the way the coin is set up. Instead of having the 180 million BC date right there on the side of the coin, it's now on the bottom of the coin. And just some little minor details with how the actual coin looks. It's pretty much the same pose and image the dinosaurs are in, but if you look, this one just has a little bit more different bit of detail. At first glance, you probably really wouldn't notice at all, but if you look closely, you can definitely see some little minor differences. So yeah, that's Coelophysis. Just another little shot here of the back of the coin of the other dinosaurs here in the set that you could collect brontosaurus t-rex allosaurus stegosaurus and triceratops here we have the triceratops coin 100 million bc 
very very old school looking triceratops design here that almost makes me think of the British Museum of Natural History for odd reasons I can't explain uh, same with one of the other coins here in the set that we'll get to not an insane amount of detail here on uh, this coin I kind of feel like the set here from 1988 was a little bit not weak but I feel like some of the details here on the coins from the 1988 set aren't as good as the original from 1974 Again, this is another similar looking coin, but it's set up a little bit differently with the way the name and the date is, obviously. And then, like I said, if you look really close, some of the details in the dinosaur, like on the stegosaurus, his plates and the trees in the background. It's a little bit different here on this one from 1988. It doesn't look nearly as good, specifically on his body and his plates. And then you look here at the original one. The original one here just looks... I don't know, it looks better to me. Either way, very similar coins at first glance, but again, just an easy way to tell them apart from what set they came in. Here's another one, we have Allosaurus again. You all remember this image from the original set, 1974, 1988. Here's the 1974 version, the 1988 version. And again, I kind of feel like the 1988 version, while it's still nice, it, it I kind of feel like the just feel like the overall quality went down just a little bit not necessarily in the background just how the dinosaur himself looks like here's more of a close-up shot of the head of this dinosaur right here just look at that for a moment and then look at the original the original one here from 1974 I feel like it looks better and even just the body looks better this one looks like it has a little bit less detail and looks a little bit more chunky uh, so yeah, I kind of prefer the original one here from 1974 over the 1988 version. But again, similar coins. It was almost the exact same set they released. And the final coin, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This coin actually sports a very different image from the original here. So totally different image. Again, this one makes me think of the British Museum of Natural History. For some reason, just the way the T-Rex looks here. 100 million BC. Got some pretty good looking detail there on the ground and with the mountain range or cliffs there kind of in the background. It's a pretty good detail here on this one. I, I very much like it just because that old school looking dinosaur design. And yeah, here's one last look with them side by side. The left here, 1974, 1988. I think I still prefer the 1974 version better, but this one is definitely cool and I'm happy this one's in my collection. And the final coin from the 1988 set that I am missing is actually a brontosaurus coin, very similar to this image here from the 1974 set. Obviously, just the back of the coin is different, but same image like this, just with that different background, like this, instead of the dinosaur family tree on the back. I think that's about going to wrap this video up. There was kind of a lot to go over and say, but I mean, I know at the end of the day, they're just coins, but I did want to point out that some of them are very similar and have minor differences that someone might not know at first glance so figured I would point it out I did want to wait until I accumulated all of these coins before I made the video but I feel like I had gathered enough of them to put a respectable and informative video here about them on the channel so give the video a thumbs up and post a comment down below and tell me what set here is your favorite or what coin here is your favorite Hope you all have a safe and happy Halloween. Thanks for joining me. And until next time, JPToys97 signing out. Take care.